What is up, you absolute stunners? Welcome to Budget Cars and Bikes. We are in the kitchen, so that can mean only one thing. We've got a product to review from Kimberlin. So let's get this little package open and I'll tell you all about it. So as I said, guys, welcome to Budget Cars and Bikes. Welcome back to all our lovely subscribers as well. Your continued support is much appreciated. As I said, we are in the kitchen. Today, we're going to be looking at this new, amazing, apparently, little scanner from Kimberlin. It is the eDiag Elite. Now, this is different in so many different ways as well because it's a budget-friendly scanner. It fits in your pocket. It's bi-directional. It comes with free lifetime updates. It does 15 different resets on your car. You can register batteries with it. You can do injector coding with it. You can do live streaming, graphs, so many different things. I mean, there's the size of my hand. That is the size of it. It's basically an OBD2 dongle effectively, which is run by a Bluetooth to your phone or your smart device if you want to use your tablet PC kind of thing. Today, for this purpose, we are going to be using my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, just to show you can be used with an Android device. It does work with Apple as well, or that is in color. I'll stick that in the screen here if it's uh, iOS compatible, but I think it's either coming or it's already there. I'm not entirely sure. As I said, it's over here. Anyway, we are going to unbox this. This won't take very long at all, will it? Because uh, it's a tiny little thing. There's a little quick snippet of what it does and what it says on the back. Turn your smart device into a professional technician's diagnostic tool. Now, I have had a quick look into this to see what it's all about. We are, as I said, going to open up the box and we will take it out to the Nissan and basically basically see how it functions compared to all the other diagnostic tools that we have kind of tested out over the last four, four or five years now. I'd like to think that we are pretty kind of clued up on what we're doing and what's good and what's bad. This, I have to say, seems too good to be true. A bi-directional, pocket-sized little scanner where you get free lifetime updates. Every single bi-directional scanner I've ever used, you have to pay a subscription after the first 12 months. This is free for life, apparently. But as I said, we're going to open this up. I'll show you what's inside and then we'll put it through the, its normal tests. And at the end of the video, we'll close out with my conclusions. Should you buy one, the price, links, all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, let's get this open. And I have to say, that is one of the cutest little things I've ever seen. I was so not expecting that, to see this in its own little tiny carry case. That is so, so cute. You can put this anywhere. And again, there's the size of my hand. Look at it. It fits in the palm of my hand, literally. That is so cute. There inside the box, we will find... Let me just tip this upside down. There we're going to find, obviously, a bit of the gump, as it were. Various languages over here. We don't need that because we're only interested in the English aspects of things. Let's open this up, see what they say. And there it is in all its glory. There is your kind of quick start guide. But uh, it looks a little bit complex. But of course, bear in mind, a lot of this is going to be just different languages. Uh, it starts in English. Effectively, all you're going to do really is use your QR scanner and then download the application, as it were, onto your smart device and then go from there. It looks like it does have App Store access as well. So Google Play and available on the App Store. So it must have iOS and Android, which is good to know. So what we're going to do, we're going to download this QR code or scan it and get the app onto the phone. And then we'll kick back in there, do some screen recordings. And as I said, pop out to the car and have a little look and see what this is all about. But that is so cute. Let me just open this up a sec, guys. And there it is, out of its case, tiny, tiny. I mean, it's not much bigger than my thumb, is it really? That is just, oh, if this works the way that they advertise it's going to work, this is almost a game changer in my mind. Because as I said, it's bi-directional. It does 15 different service functions. It covers over a thousand models of cars, over 160 brands, and free lifetime updates. What's not to like? If this works, this is going to be a game changer. Anyway, let's get this QR code downloaded onto the phone. We'll get out to the car. I'll plug it in, and I will give you, as always, my honest opinion about this new eDiag Elite from Kimberlin. So, let's go. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we are in the eDiag Elite system here. At the top, as you can see, we have the all systems diagnostics. Then we have the maintenance functions, which is going to be basically your oil change and your ABS bleeding, battery registration, that kind of stuff. Next to that, on the right, we have the OBD functions, which is a basic OBD kind of scan of your car for slightly older cars. And vehicle coverage inquiry is basically a search engine. So, 
where you can find out exactly what cars are covered. Underneath that, we have the reports and a history of all the stuff you've done. If you look at the bottom left there, you'll see that's the picture of the engine. If we go into profile here, that'll tell you exactly what your device is. You can see that up there, your reports, your orders, all the kind of stuff, firmware fixes, yada yada, settings inside here as well. You can change that to Imperial or Metric. You can manage your account, of course, change your language. I'm not quite sure what blocked account is all about. Then it's about us and log out. If we just hit back, we will see we're back over here. That's If you look at the bottom right of the screen now, you'll see that's basically your profile. And over on the left, if you just click the engine block effectively, you can do all your diagnostics and scans from there. We're going to have a little look at the maintenance functions and as you can see you need to download all the things that are going to be relevant to you. I guess you would probably download pretty much all of this. If we just download the oil maintenance for a second we'll see how quickly that does that. You'll probably be able to see on the top uh, left of the screen we're on 1428 i imagine it'll probably take 30 seconds something like that while that's downloading i'll talk to you quickly about all the stuff that this incredible little device seemingly does it has 15 resets i.e oil resets and uh, battery learning injector coding all that kind of stuff it has 160 apparently different brands i didn't realize there was actually 160 brands of car out there to be honest manufacturers uh, with over a thousand plus models covered. I, I, I'm confused about that, as I said, because I didn't think there was 160 different brands of motor car on the planet, but hey-ho. And it is bi-directional, as I said, so you can actually use the actuation function of the scanner. We may look into that. If we don't for any reason, then look back at my other scan tool reviews. We talk a lot about bi-directional in there. It's an incredibly useful tool, but we'll try to get into that in a second. As I said, it has injector coding, TPMS, ABS bleeding. You can register your battery, obviously an oil service, brake reset. You can reset your headlights as well if they're a bit skew if and they're electronically adjusting, as in electronically leveling, you can reset that. You can reset your sunroof, which is kind of useful if you have a sunroof, of course. And as I said, it is free updates for life, which is incredible when you consider every other bi-directional scanner we've used on the channel has been for 12 months. Then you have to pay $100 a year to continue to use the bi-directional. This is free for life. Incredible. You've got a live data stream, as you would expect. You can reset your DPF. And we have EGR learning as well. Now, this does cover 1996 to 2024. But on top of that, it also has the new protocols for FCA and FD support as well, which is really, really good for like incredibly modern cars, which perhaps some of the other scanners will not cover. You need to be sure that you've got FCA and FD support. It will program new keys as well, which is, uh, again, a really, really handy function. If you've got a key that needs kind of programming into your car, this will do that running Bluetooth 5.2. Those are the headlines effectively for the scanner. Oil reset is downloaded. We'll open that up, have a little look connecting to Bluetooth. We are obviously in the car and uh, paired up with the well we'll pair up now as we can see bluetooth connected that was nice and quick as i said it has bluetooth 5.2 which makes things or apparently makes things much much quicker although not much seems to be happening here there's a couple of little beeps going on this is the first plug-in so it's entirely possible of course that uh, this is going to take a little bit longer first time around probably like when you first register your phone etc etc all right function introduction well let's have a little look at that okay read that at your pleasure so we go all the way down here are your manufacturers i bet you a thousand pounds there isn't 160 of them is there no well there we are then uh so yeah that is a bit confusing and possibly they've mistitled that to mean 16 nissan because that's what we're in switch on ignition we'll do that Okay, and then we have a manual reset. The function is reset mode. And then we obviously go down. We're not going to do it because I haven't done a oil change on this car, but that's as simple as it is is we'll go back out of there yes we want to really quit and then obviously you can download all the immobilizer stuff the electronic throttle learning etc etc that is the maintenance functions obd is just 
a basic scan. As you can see, downloading diagnostic software, that's super, super quick, we like that. And it should do a quick scan. Now, in my experience, the Bluetooth OBD2 scan and the special scan is pretty much the same thing, I have to say. I've never really seen much difference, not on the lower end scanners when you're talking about the you know the a thousand pound scanners which we've reviewed in the past then obviously yeah uh, you know that's a different story this normally takes a little bit of time guys as i've said it will not do the automatic vehicle identification the vin number uh because this car's a little bit old it's a 2012 so uh, it basically will not uh do an auto vin but there we are um yep that's exactly as i would expect to see there are no mill lights on no dtc so that's your basic yep we'll get out of there uh, we'll have a little look at the auto systems again you'd put in manually your well i would put in manually my vin number because it won't automatically register it we will go down to nissan if we can find it. now this is maybe is where the 160 cars are although again i don't think that's 160 cars there as in manufacturers that's a little bit confusing i've got to try to find nissan bear with me a sec guys and then there's nissan with zheng probably pronounced that diabolically but hey ho so we're downloading for the nissan obviously not much seems to be going on there okay we're connecting to bluetooth again as you can see there's also well as you can hear there are all sorts of beeping noises going on in the background this is the first time we've actually done this as a screen record as opposed to me sat in the car recording i hope this is going to come out i guess we will find out i have no idea what any of these cars are or if they're actually supposed to be cars uh yep yeah. well it looks like it's nissan because i recognize the navara there is an error in identifying or scanning the electronic control system okay that's that's helpful okay well it's done it in a different kind of way we're basically scanning with the special scan which as i said i don't ever really see much of a difference between obd2 and these special scans they do unless you're really really going into the depths of the all the modules on a kind of a newer car as it were if you've got a 2012 nissan qashqai as we are using here it's not really that relevant it's nice to have this in this new e-diag tool though so we're going up everything is not configured which is interesting we're 50 percent through the scan and it's basically going through to try to find all the modules that are within the car that it knows it may have in here but as I said, this is such an old car, it won't have a lot of this kind of stuff anyway. The ABS anti-locking is obviously normal. So that is it, guys. That is basically the platform you can expect to see when you buy one of these tools. It just literally shows up on your phone or your tablet, whichever you're using. As I said, we are using the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. I don't know if it goes into portrait mode and landscape. It doesn't look like... No, I'm turning the phone and nothing's really happening here. As I said, that's a basic overview of this incredible tool. I have to say... we. We've reviewed a lot of diagnostic scanners over the last year or two and uh, this it kind of blows my mind that what it does for the price point these are around about a hundred quid on amazon but with a 25 pound discount voucher links will be in the description of course if you have any questions whatsoever please 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 drop that in the comment section let me just get out of this uh, screen recording for a sec that's better. We're in the real world. Uh, as you can see, we're in the Nissan. There is the module down there. Excuse the state of the car. It uh, is the middle of winter and everything's a bit grody. That's the little module there. It's plugged in. There's the dash. Not much to say. But as I said, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, if you've enjoyed this one, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please, please, please drop your questions in the comment section below. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with another video. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a like, a share, a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing because we're we're well over 10,000 subscriptions now and uh, you know that's kind of mind-blowing for me and we are growing by the month but from budget cars and bikes that has been the e-diag elite from kimberlin i've got to say i really really rate this i'm not just saying that because they've sent one out this is a game changer link in the description guys thanks so much for watching and taking the time to actually click on the picture from budget cars and bikes that has been the review of the e-diag elite take care guys and again thanks for watching